Hey there everyone, it is your girl Marquee Mark and thanks for coming back and kicking it with me. Today's video is sort of a double feature. As you can see, I bought a new product. So I am doing an unboxing. And no, I did not open this prior to recording. It was delivered to me like this. So if you've seen my last video or even my IG, you've seen me use this product. So these hands are supposed to be a close second to the popular Red Iguana brand. However, comma, that brand is very expensive. And so I wanted to try something that was a little bit more affordable. So I purchased these two hands as a set from Amazon by the brand Know You. So yeah, this set actually cost about the same as one practice hand from Red Iguana. And I got it in color number six, which is the darkest color that they offer. So I also purchased the stand separately. It's supposed to hold the hand as you are working. It has a suction cup for the base, and so that means you can stick it to the surface so that it does not move. The flexible like leg or arm, whatever you want to call it, is sturdy enough and it can hold the hand with no issue. However, I'm just not sure if it's the design of the clamp itself or if it's just that the silicone is way too slippery, but yeah, <laughs> my hand constantly slides out of the clamp. But yeah, I feel like this clamp could be improved. With this stand, it's not going to break. It's not terribly stiff, but you actually have to handle it. Like you can't go in like, oh, I'm just gonna daintily do it because that's what I was trying to do. So yeah, you actually gotta put some elbow grease into it and move the thing. So these hands came with their own nails and all you do is size the nail to the actual finger, slide it down to the cuticle like I'm doing here, use some acrylic glue, and that's how you get the nail to adhere to the finger. They are made of silicone. The fingers are bendable and you can pose them however you need. The hand is also comparable to a real life-size hand and the nail beds are flat. So when I looked up the acrylic glue, nail glue is what popped up. So that's what I used to put the nails onto the actual hand. You guys, I soaked this hand for four and a half hours in pure acetone per the manufacturer instructions. And still when I was removing my nails, I was struggling to get the nails off of the nail bed. So I have chunks missing from my nail beds. Thankfully, the company was very understanding and they were able to work with me. So I've already sized the nails to the hand and I've already glued the nails down. So now I'm just taking my McCart tips and gluing those on top. So surprise, here's the second part of the feature because you have to have a second part if it's a double feature, right? So I do get that we're not in fall and we are very much so in winter, which I love, but I did have a few people inbox me and ask me how I achieved the fall leaves look. And if you've been on my IG, you know what I'm talking about. So I do two coats of this really pretty blue and then in between each coat, I do cure for 90 seconds. I then went in with a matte top coat and cured for 90 seconds. I take the Born Pretty yellow and red stamping polishes, just sporadically place them on the image that I want, scrape it a few times with my swiping card, and then I pick it up with my jumbo clear stamper. That way I can have precision where I place the actual stamp. So you saw me erase everything with the cotton claw and I just repeat the steps throughout. How I got this single leaf is once I stamped the image or once I picked up the image, I would take my lint roller or if you don't have one of those, you can take a piece of tape and the parts of the image that I did not want on my nail, I just went in and taped them off. I know that that sounds funny, but the tape picks it off of the stamper very well. As you see, that stamp would not transfer, like at all, no matter what I did. So I went in with some yellow stopper, waited for it to get a little tacky, so almost dry, repeated the same steps for the stamping process, and then I was able to get a clean transfer. I then applied a matte top coat and cured that for 120 seconds. Let's link up in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video. And if you've tried this practice hand, what do you think of it? So paint that like button, cure that subscribe button, 
And of course, Marky Mark out. <laughs>